Let's bring you one of those stories we mentioned just before the break. The way the Metropolitan Police handled four murders carried out by serial killer Stephen Port will be investigated again. The watchdog admitted its first investigation was flawed and new information has now come out. Inquests have already concluded failings by the force probably contributed to the last three killings. Well, Simon Vigar is at New Scotland Yard for us right now. Uh, Simon, do the families of the victims actually feel like they're getting somewhere now after this? Hi, Dan. They do because of what the inquests found uh, back in December, the criticisms of the Met Police. Fundamentally, they believe the whole investigation would have been different if the victims had been four heterosexual women, that the link between the murders would have been made. The victims in this case uh, were Anthony Woolgate, Gabriel Cavari, Daniel Whitworth and Jack Taylor. The murders all go back eight years to a 15-month period in 2014-2015. The bodies were all found in the same part of East London, uh, very near to the flat of Stephen Port, who is now serving a whole life term for the murders. One of the solicitors in this case say the uh, police have blood on their hands because he could have and should have been stopped much earlier. Now, a former neighbour of Port uh, told Five News today that the attitude of the police was all wrong. The, the original um, investigation, I think that really highlights that the police are unaccountable and if they are honest and true about seeking out the bad apples as they describe them then there's got to be a way that these officers are uh, held account and, and are forced effectively to recount what happened and Simon I suppose the obvious question listening to all that is why haven't any officers been disciplined well, the watchdog is the IOPC, the Independent Office of Police Conduct, and in 2019, its own inquiry uh, said that uh, no officer had a case to answer in terms of misconduct or gross misconduct. The inquests have changed all of that. The families have kept up the pressure. The IOPC is going to reopen the inquiry with a new team, and the Met as an institution has apologised and says it will uh, cooperate with that. The families are convinced there was homophobic uh, prejudice, which meant the early deaths weren't properly investigated and they say that some officers have shown no regret or no remorse well the new investigation may change that Simon thank you that's Simon Vigar live for us at New Scotland Yard for five news